There we go. Ice fishing again today for pickerel and whatever. Sweet. This guy just hit. I missed him. This rod's a little too bendy. I don't have enough heavy rods with me, but uh, I think he hit twice. He hit he hit it again once I rebaited and put it back down. See, it went off right away. Nice. I don't know, probably 16 inch chain pickerel. Average one. Sweet. Just uh, got some tip ups and some ice rods with uh, uh, medium shiners hooked on the on the dorsal fin. There we go. I always underestimate them just by a little bit. I don't think this is a pickerel though. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. He's been nipping at it. It's weird. He wasn't hitting like a pickerel. That last pickerel was 17 though. If I guess lengths today, I'm going to be off, I think. I just always underguess them. That's yeah, just a little guy. Neat. He didn't slam it though. He just picked at it. Seemed like. Awesome. Feels a little, little better. Last one was like 14 and a half, I think. That's a decent one. Sweet. They just look a little shorter than they really are to me usually because they're skinny. <laughs> like the skinniest fish I catch probably. This one's fatter. It probably has eggs. It's definitely at least 19 inches, I'd say. Might be a 20. 19 or 20 for sure. Nice solid pickerel. Just measured that last one and this flag went off. It's starting to heat up a little. Very. I'd put a little bit bigger shiners on these tip-ups here. I set up here just in the same spot that I set up last time. Which is on this like 7 foot deep transition zone between obviously shallower and deeper water. It goes like 9 feet that way and 6 feet that way. So I'm just in the same spot. There's no weed structure or anything. I couldn't find the weed edge. So I just can't drill enough holes. There's like 16 inches of ice and I have a hand auger. But I was doing well here last time in the last bait fishing video, I guess. Yeah, so just a smaller guy. Weird. He, he had a pretty pretty big shiner. <laughs> Probably barely fit in his mouth there. A lot of these guys, I, I brought a limit home last time. A lot of them are just packed. Packed as, as full as their stomach could be with little blue eels. So these shiners look pretty similar to that. They're just crushing them. There we go. I like this rod more, it's stiffer. Get a better hook in them. Man, I love fishing for these guys. Oh, that's a beauty. Heck yeah. That's a nice one. That one before that was. I said it was 1920, it was like 18 and a half. This one's right around the same size as that one, probably. Good solid one. Just getting hits left and right. Seriously, can barely keep up with them. Just getting some hits on that other tip up over there stripped me twice. I think he was just holding it in his mouth. I don't think it's a pickerel. I got one perch last time. I know there's crappies here too. Maybe not in this spot, but in this lake. So I'm really wondering what what that is over there. I got him. He's not huge. Another pickerel. Solid one. Awesome. Not a monster, but a nice quality one. For sure. 17, 18 incher chunky Dude, that's crazy I just set this one up <laughs> walked over to the bucket walked back it was off this is the one that just just had that 18 and change pickerel crazy yeah he's there that's the weight pawn I just wanted, this was a big shiner I want to make sure he eats it let's give him a sec probably the biggest shiner I have No, specifically, I'm I set up on this seven foot transition zone, um, and it's been working wonders. It seems I'm getting a lot of hits. It's been like an hour. I've gotten more hits than I've gotten a few a few more hits than the amount of fish I've gotten. You know what I mean? Like that I missed. 
so I've gotten a lot of hits in an hour but um, uh, specifically what I'm doing is I'm suspending these baits right around three feet under the ice or like three feet counting the the thickness of the ice there all right I'm gonna take this guy now yeah just a little guy that's what I was thinking the little guys take a second to eat the, the bigger shiners see just barely hooked them right there in the tongue If I didn't wait, I probably wouldn't have got him. A little pulls out of his mouth. There we go. Yeah, that's a small one, 14 inch or so. Right back in he goes. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm suspending these baits right around three feet. Um down in seven feet of water and that's working great on all these the tip ups and the ice rods seriously can't can't get one rod rebated without the next one going off crazy another pickerel awesome <laughs> waiting for a big one one of these ones it's gonna be in upper 20s that's a that's probably a keeper it's probably like 16 inches Catching so many though, I think I'm gonna hold out for a bigger one. Holy cow, this guy taking drag. This is a better fish. If that's him, then that's crazy. I think he's stuck in weeds or something. What the heck? What's going on? <laughs> I just got four pound test on these guys. I could get a tiger muskie, you never know. Or a Big large mouth, you never know. In a swampy swampy lake like this where the dump taggers in. Or a monster pickerel, that's pretty unlikely though. What the heck happened? He's like stuck on something. I'm a little slack here for a second. He was he was bending this rod all the way over, taking drag right right as I was running up to him. This is a more serious fish, I think. Like buried himself in the weeds or something though. I had a big large one through that once. Like a 23 inch or whatever, good northern strain. Buried himself right in the weeds. I had to take him and like 10 pounds of weeds all the way in. There we go, got him. He was definitely stuck on something. I felt him pop out. Wow, just a tiny pickerel. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, that tiny, like 16 incher man. He seemed so. He was. He was seriously doing this. Like, like more though. Like it was going all the way over. I don't know how he pulled that hard. That's wicked funny. Seemed like he was a much bigger fish when I was running up to him. A little picker all buried in the weeds. There we go. I'm so lazy. I'm just sitting in a lawn chair eating cookies, <laughs> waiting for my rods to bend over. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fatty. Another 18 incher right around there. Awesome. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just had my rod get pulled into the hole, wow, gotcha, <laughs> man I have never lost a rod to a fish until today, oh that's a big one, oh wow, that's what I'm talking about, holy cow, what the heck did I catch? Oh, it's a large mouth. Oh, it's a huge large mouth. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. I haven't caught a northern strain that big in years. I really don't fish for a large mouth, though. That is super cool. And yeah. 
This ain't a crazy fish for a Florida strain, but for a northern strain, this is a really nice, well above average largemouth for sure. Beautiful fish. I'd say it's a big one because it's over master angler size. You know, not a huge one, but definitely above average on the big side for up here. Even when you do target them, you don't catch them this big very often in the 20 class. I've gotten them bigger than this, but a few and far between. She's, uh, I don't know if I said it, she's 20 and a half. Just a beauty. There she goes. Awesome. This is the fish I've been, I've had a lot of, like, near misses on this, on this rod. I've been thinking it's, I don't know what, what I'm saying. I'm, <laughs> it's hard to just run and narrate like this. Uh, I've had a lot of fish strip me on this hole. I don't, this is a pickerel though. I thought it was like crappies or something. Something stripped me like three times in here and I was playing around with them forever. It's really slowed down a lot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Something happened. Popped the hook. <laughs> right as I grabbed him there. It's another nice one. 18 inch or so. Just like the others. Already got my limit though, so back in he goes. Awesome. I have no clue how long this flag has been up. <laughs> Started taking a nap. This is just slowed down. I'm tired. Wind that, wind that wrong around my hand there. Feels a little smaller. Yeah, small pickerel. Cool. They took it out a little bit. Barely got him, just by the skin of the lip. There we go. It's all wrapped up. Got a mess here. There we go. Whoa. Slippery. Yeah. 15, 16 incher. 15 and a half maybe. Just a little guy. Cool. Back in you go. This is the guy that keeps stripping me. I'm going to get him up fast here. No, it isn't. It's just another pickerel. Unless this is what it's been all along. This is the hole I keep getting stripped in. Seems like a little panfish, like a baby perch or something, just keeps like knocking my, like ripping them off. It's weird. I watched him rip it off. I, the rod went twap right when I ran to it last time. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know, maybe 14 and a half, 15 inch. A little teen pickerel. I haven't had my hands on a fish in hours. It was a bite a minute earlier today. Like a steady bite a minute. It was crazy. And then I either cleaned them out or they or they quit biting because there's a cold front pushing through. I'm not sure. Imagine I'm cleaning them out. This is what happened a couple days ago. Oh, I got a flag there too. Sick. Wow. They, it happened in like spurts, like a couple flags at a time usually. It's weird. This one just went off and I rebaited it. There's been a lot of strippers this afternoon. There wasn't any the other day, so it's, it's different. Something different about it. Gotcha. Got you this time. Yep, I figured pickerel. They usually hit twice. <laughs> They'll just keep hitting if you rebait it and they strip you for some reason. That's another decent one. 17 and a half, maybe, right around there. 17-ish. Something like that. Not this time. Gotcha. This is the picky hole. I don't know if this is the fish though. Nope, just another pickerel. No, oh, maybe it is these pickerels that were just nipping me off all day. A lot of fish just like, had it happen like four or five times. The fish would rip the bait off the hook. Like very carefully too. Without putting any tension on it all, it seemed. Or very little. Just had I had two pickerels cut me off today, but I'm not using steel leaders in case I get some panfish or something. I got one nice perch last time I was here, so it's a trade-off. That's all right though. No big deal. My 
jug of water froze on one side because the wind chill sucking sucking the heat. Got another flag here. Is it sitting there or he ripped it off? <laughs> oh he's there. Hello. A little one, I think, smaller. Oh, not that small, not tiny. It's a good one, actually. Wow, cool. Shoot, my thumb's stuck here. There we go. Yeah, nice, solid pickerel. 18, 19 incher, I'd say. That could be a solid 19. That might be the best one of the day feel their stomach right there it's all lumpy because there's just they're so packed with bluegill like I feel so many edges right here it, all, every one I cut open last night or the night before or whatever um, was just packed with like six to ten bluegills and a little baby ones just loaded those aren't eggs those are bluegills <laughs> making it look like eggs it's crazy doesn't look like I'm gonna get any panfish today so looks like this is what I'm walking out with Limit of pickerel. Not the five biggest ones of the day, but pretty close. Just the first five I threw in the bucket. Um, they're all like 17 to 18 and a half. All in that range. Um, a lot right around 18 inches today. No big ones, just a lot of nice decent ones. Um, that last one I got was pretty close to 19. That was probably the biggest one of the day, but I let them go because I already took these guys. Um, Bunch of nice pickerels, gonna take them home and clean them, package them, vacuum seal them to eat later. Really fun day, a lot of pickerel. Crazy. I got another flag too. Just a great day. This has been the hot hole ever since I drilled it. It's like it's like I cleaned them out of the middle swaths, so I moved to the outskirts and I'll get more. Yeah, there's a fish there. Another pickerel. Very cool. Just great numbers of pickerel. Pop this hook out quick. I'm in the bony part of his mouth. There we go. Awesome. Another decent pickerel. 16 inches right around there. Deceiving. They look shorter than they really are because they're so skinny. Probably said that already. I've been so tired today, but it's been a great day. Seems like the seven foot transition zone is like the ticket for whatever reason. No clue why. I'm pretty much out of bait at this point. Actually, I am out of bait. This is my last live piece of bait, and it was barely alive, too. It was like you. It was on the other tip of it, but it's almost dark, so it's okay. It kind of worked out well. There he is. That feels like a better one. Get up here. Get up here. You're big. Holy cow. Bigger. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best one of the day. Heck yeah. That's a pickerel. Yeehaw. <laughs> Times like these, you wish you didn't limit out already. That's a nice one. That's a low 20. <laughs> around there. 